Hey everybody, it's Frick. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I thought this one would be really cool to do. Uh, it's not my typical type of video. Usually I do uh, gadgets and stuff. This one's going to be a little different. Uh, now, I don't consider myself a sneakerhead by any means. Of course, I like uh, really cool shoes. But when I saw Paul George unveil his new PG2 PlayStation shoes, PlayStation uh, basketball sneakers, uh, I had to have them. I thought they were the coolest thing. I'm a huge PlayStation fan, huge video game fan, and uh, I thought they were just really cool looking shoes. And I uh, I actually needed a new pair of shoes anyway for my volleyball team, um, so I really wanted to get a pair. They were listed at $110 US, and uh, they launched, I think, on February 10th, and I thought it would be pretty easy to get them. I didn't have any idea uh, that it would, they would be as popular as they would be. So, uh, I submitted, uh, an entry, uh, on Nike.com or on the sneakers app, uh, which is what I guess you have to do when Nike releases a new pair of shoes. And, uh, then they do a draw to see if, uh, you're allowed or if you can buy them. And, uh, unfortunately I uh, was not picked to do that. So recently I saw on a site called DHgate, com, which is a Chinese uh, wholesaler. Um, they had some replica uh, ones on there, and uh, so I thought I would uh, give them a try. I've never, I don't think I've ever bought replica shoes uh, before. No, I don't. No, I haven't. Um, so I thought I would just give them a try. Like I say, I need a new pair of sneakers anyway. And uh, so what you're going to witness today is me uh, unwrapping them from the mail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison to the original um, uh, PG2 uh, Paul George PlayStation shoes. Now these are supposed to be Nike shoes. Uh, that's I said that uh, that's where I tried to order them from. So that's who designed them or that's who uh, distributes them. So uh, I'm going to do some comparisons between these and the actual uh, Nike PG2s. So without any further ado, let's go. It's going to be hard to do with one hand. Let's take a look at the box as well. Now, just so you know, these, for replica shoes, these are actually uh, quite expensive. They're almost the price. Um, they're almost the price of what the shoes are, the originals are, actually, if you, were to, if you were to get them from Nike. Excuse the camera work here. Yeah, these came, uh, these came to about $90 uh, US. So, quite expensive for replicas. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so let's take a look at the box, first of all. Now, I, I don't know what the original box looks like. I should have looked that up before. All right, here we have PG2, size 10, black, blue, red. It has the Nike website on it. This is a sticker. It's got a barcode in there. Nike logo on the box there. And the PG, the Paul George logo. There. Okay. Looks legit so far. All right, let's open them up and see. All right. So, here they are. Let's take a quick look around and then we'll kind of try and pick out the similarities and the differences the things that it's missing now just by looking at it first off I can tell that the shape of the shoe is different and I don't know if it's just because uh, shipping it was maybe uh, crushed a little bit but the shape looks a little bit different. I think the actual shoe, it's a little more narrow down here, and then it comes up a little bit more uh, right here. So that's the first thing I noticed. Um, the Nike logo is here. Now, I thought that was funny because 
when you look at the shoe on DH gate, the Nike logo is actually missing, and that's probably just because they're not allowed to um, they're not allowed to show it there. But one thing you will notice is that it's in a completely different spot. The Nike logo is up here, whereas on the actual shoe, the Nike logo is in this area right here. Um, so it's in completely the wrong place. It looks like it's the right color. Now, if you look closely at this black area, you're going to see the PlayStation um, symbols there, and I believe that is accurate to uh, what the actual shoes have. Uh, on the front, you're going to see the PlayStation uh, colors for the shoelaces, so those are accurate as well. And you will see uh, the Nike symbol in there. Now, this looks different than what you see in the pictures of these shoes, of the actual shoes. This looks like it's kind of been pasted on top, whereas on the actual shoes, I believe it's on this side, and it looks like it's underneath the mesh a little bit. Um, up here, you have the Paul George logo. On the back, it looks like Paul George's uh, signature. And then on the inside, you have the Paul George logo there. Let me see if I can get a better... I can't really. Um, Paul George logo there. And then on the bottom, the Paul George logo there. Now, the big thing with these shoes is that on the originals, this actually lit up. And uh, I can tell already that that's not going to be the case with this. It's just sort of a white rubber, rubbery plastic there. And then in the actual ones, there's a battery in here somewhere that lights up the shoe. Obviously, that's not going to... Uh, happen here now Actually now that I'm looking at this the Nike logo is here on this side And it's in the sole on this side. So maybe that's how it's supposed to be in the picture that I was looking at um, It was the opposite. So maybe on the other shoe the pink one is in the sole and the blue one is on the thing So let's find out actually let's look at this other one Okay, yeah, so that's the case um, so this one is a little different, and yes, there is the Nike symbol. It's on the side that I saw in the picture. The Nike symbol here is also there. This one actually looks a little better. Uh, if you look really close, um, you can you can definitely tell that it's fake for sure. I mean, uh, the Nike quality is just not there. Now, from far away, you'll probably not be able to tell, and then the Nike symbol is there and you could tell I mean these Nike symbols are really really bad um, this one and the other one like that one that one isn't too bad there but I mean you look at that it's kinda off it just doesn't look right it's not as pointed on the end uh, as it should be um, but it does on this one it does have the PlayStation logo uh, on the tongue the colors look fairly accurate um, this, these colors here along the side are supposed to be, resembled the uh, PlayStation uh, Galaxy. Um, they're a little more, I think, obvious on these shoes, and they look more just like paint splatter. They don't look like the, the, um, the Galaxy uh, too much. And on the back, surprisingly, you have a PlayStation uh, network code, which I wasn't sure was going to be there, but uh, there it is. So... Design-wise, I mean, it's pretty close, really. Uh, you would have to look really close to, to know that these are fakes, I believe. I mean, these aren't bad. Like zoom, it says there. Uh, everything seems to be there except the light-up uh, logos and, of course, the look of the logos themselves. But the PlayStation code's there. The logo's there. Uh, there should be a PlayStation logo on the inside of this one. And there is, as you can see. It uh, looks a little different from the original. Let's just see the tag. Let's see if we can read the tag and see what it says. Uh, yeah, you can't really get in there. Anyways, so those are the replica PG uh, PlayStation shoes from Paul George. Again, these are from dhgate.com for around $85 to $90 US. Um, but I'm going to try them on, see how comfortable they are. But other than that, they look uh, not too bad. So if you guys want to uh, pick them up, head over to dhk.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day.